Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, me and Dion are doing December's Keto Crate unboxing. Really excited to see what we got this month. Before we get started, if you do not know what Keto Crate is, let me just explain a little bit to you. Keto Crate is a monthly subscription box that you can get delivered straight to your door. And in this box, there is 12 full-size snacks that are all keto approved and they will always be five net carbs and under. Each month, you will pay $39.99 and you can cancel any time. But if you would like to try it using my discount code, Keto with Sammy, you will only pay $29.99 for your first box. I highly recommend Keto Crate. They are awesome especially when you want to try different keto snacks from everywhere so let's go ahead and get straight into this video and start unboxing all right guys we're gonna go ahead and dig right in when you open it this is usually what they look like depending on the month they have little pamphlets just like this and in these they usually have some discount codes and recipes that you could find using all your snacks in here you also have other little discount codes for different companies look at this box Ooh, it is packed I always love chocolate. These are all, ooh. Black. Look at that, don't touch. <laughs> all right guys, let's go ahead and dig right in. Can we start with the chocolate? Yes, first thing we see on top are these Keto Chocolate Crunch. It's like a bar. I have not seen these yet. I'm really excited about this. This is by Better Than Good Foods. I have had their brand before, really good stuff. Keto Chocolate Crunch, four net carbs. Remember, they always be five net carbs and under, 18 grams of fat and four grams of protein. 190 calories and yeah this is the way it looks really cute packaging we're gonna go ahead and dig right in you don't have the scissors i forgot my scissors. babe did you want my scissors yes he was walking around often let him say where are the tweezers okay so digging in this is the way it looks Ooh, it looks good it has a nice little crunch on the back kind of like the what are the crunch Nessus bars crunch yeah it has their brand in the front. It looks really good. You had to touch all over it. I'm sorry. I washed my hands. What? What? My yeah. husband's over here wanting a piece. <laughs> He's going to try the keto crate in the background. If y'all don't know, my husband did start keto as well. He's been doing really good. That's pretty good. Mmm. Nicely sweetened. It don't taste too dark. It's good. Yeah. It tastes doesn't taste like extremely dark chocolate. You get the nice crunch in the back. Really good chocolate. It's nice and milky. Salty. And it has a slight salty taste to it. Mmm. I really like this. What do you think? I love me some chocolate. I give it like scale of one to ten. I, I give it like a nine. I give it a nine. I like yeah. seven. What? You don't like it too much? Mm -hmm. No. You don't like chocolate. I'm like not darker dark chocolate. chocolate, but I still give it a nine. Yeah, I like it still has. Chocolate. You could tell it's dark chocolate. But it still has that milkiness to it, yeah, so sure. it's not that bad. I give it a nine out of ten. But I just this don't is like really salty. good. I yeah, I don't like salty. This is really good. I highly recommend it if you're into like uh, the crunch bars. That's totally what it reminds me of. But really good. Again, bet, um, by Better Than Good Foods. This is their Keto Chocolate Crunch. All right, next chocolate we are going in with. I do not like chocolate with mint. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully, it's good. But my opinion, I don't know. So this is by Good Sam. I have tried, what did we try from them the last time? I can't remember, but I remember what last yeah. time was your name. Good Sam, it says, be an alley for small farms, dark chocolate mint, 50% cacao, no sugar added. So this is another chocolate bar that we are getting this month. I was definitely expecting chocolate, especially around Christmas. Oh, yeah. So a serving size is nine pieces, 120 calories. It does have oh. a, Oh, it has sugar alcohol, but I'm not sure because they don't have it listed on here. Because it has allulose, dark chocolate, cacao, cacao butter, and mint oil. So I really like the packaging. It's a pretty color. Ooh. Oh, it's like Willy Wonka. It's like Willy Wonka. Chocolate. It's all nice. It has foil on it. Okay, let's go ahead and give these a try. A golden ticket. My husband's waiting over here in the background. He has his hand out. He likes mint. I'm like, that's gross. It's like you can it's freshen like you your breath well and get toothpaste. cavities at the same time. With chocolate on it. This looks like it's going to be dark. Better. Like a lot oh, better. it definitely smells like mint a lot. 
It looks really smooth. This is the way it looks. It don't have a lot of mint taste at all. It doesn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Oh, you're lying. It does. Mm -hmm. It tastes like really dark chocolate, though. I don't like that. Really dark chocolate. When you breathe in, you definitely taste the mint. The bitterness from the dark chocolate. I was expecting the mint to be a lot stronger. It's kind of subtle until you really, like, keep eating it. I give this one a six. But six. honestly, it's not that bad. Like, it has good mint flavor. The chocolate is good. It's nice and milky. So if you're somebody that loves mint chocolate, you'll like this. It's a good one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty good. A five? I give it a six. Yeah, I give it, like, a six. I like it the same. Only because I do not like bitter chocolate. But it is cacao. So it's something that's expected. For overall, pretty good flavor. Okay, next thing we're gonna move on to, we got a crunchy snack. So usually you get desserts in your box, you get beef jerky, cheeses, you know, all the good snacks on keto. But I like that it's all in one box. So we got some crunchy cheese. I have tried this brand before. We tried it the last time, but it was a different flavor. It was just a regular cheddar. This one is black pepper. Ooh. Yeah, this is by Nourishing Itaki Snacks. This is the way their packaging looks nice crunchy little snack and you can also put these in like salads in replace of a crouton if you like to mm. yeah those are really good okay oh did you want to try one babe no ray don't want no cheese this is the way they look they're really crunchy i remember them being really crunchy but i want to taste the flavor of it mm. i like feet yeah you got foot face mm. <laughs> it's all right uh-uh. I don't like it. I mean, overall, like, it's good. I don't like bitter cheese. What kind of cheese is it? It tastes like Swiss. Yeah, it's kind of like a bitter cheese, but people like that. I'm mostly into cheddar, and it doesn't, it's not cheddar. I can't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. It's Chilean buttery cheese. I have never tried that before. Maybe that's what it is. It's different. Chilean. Chilean? Is that what it is? Chilean. How do you pronounce it? Chilean buttery cheese. That's what it is. So I don't really taste black pepper though, right? I taste the pepper. You for did? Sure. That's what a lot of the bitterness is. Yeah, I give it a about a six, but it's really crunchy. It has a nice texture. I'm just I have never tried this cheese before, so it's a little bit different for me. But overall, it's pretty good. I give it a four. I didn't care for it. Next item, I see some delicious cookies. Guys, I've tried these before, but they are absolutely delicious i always recommend high keys mini cookies even their their high key cereal the bomb this one is their snickerdoodle flavor they have tons of different flavors that you can give a try they're one net carbs and i think there's seven pieces there's two servings in here seven pieces and they're very mini the thing i like to do with these as well i like to pour them in a bowl and pour some unsweetened almond milk and they're kind of like those cookie crisp cereals the no. little i don't like the only thing i don't like about High key is they have that sweetener that makes it. Oh, the cooling mouth. effect. Oh. Yeah, they have that cooling effect it's a after. Weird. Their Snickerdoodle is really good though. It has really good cinnamon flavor on it. This is how many they are. They are tiny, but trust me, they're delicious. Did y'all hear that? It's thundering. You know what it reminds me of? Mm. Those Mexican cookies you get at them. Oh yeah. Like the. You know cinnamon. Flavor, you like get the vanilla. Instead they're nice and soft, like really soft. Like a Michoacan, right? I don't okay. know, but they're so good. Mm. 10 out of 10. Those these are, cookies are good. I give them a 10. If y'all have never tried these, get your hands on them because they're really, really good. That flavor is really good. Other flavors, yeah, the chocolate I didn't care chip for ones. The chocolate chip ones are good. I didn't care for the, those. are amazing. These are good. Mm -hmm. Give me another one. I like the chocolate chip because I'm just the biggest chocolate fan. And then these, these are my second favorite. Oh, man. You're gonna eat the whole bag. Mm -mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Now put it in a bowl with some milk, some mm. almond milk. Yes. And then they get nice and soft. And you just They're already it. soft. Oh, it's so good. This is a pork rinds. Pork rinds. Okay. Next, we got some pork rinds. Y'all know pork rinds are the ultimate chip replacement on keto. So usually we get a lot. Of, ooh, we get a lot of different flavors. Which one is this one? This flavor is spicy dill. Dill. Oh. Ray would probably like these, my husband, because he loves like pickle stuff. It's fried in sunflower oil. Spicy dill flavored small batch pork rinds fried in sunflower oil. One total carbohydrate per, per serving. This is the way their packaging looks. 
I tried a lot of different pork rinds, but sometimes they don't taste like they should. They always nice and crunchy, but we need the flavor there. <laughs> These are really big. Oh, hell yeah. They're airy. It's like a pig ear. Yeah. They, what? Don't say it that. It looks like a pig's ear. No, that's sad. No. Oh. You got flavor on there. They smell like, like pickle. All right. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. That's a lot of flavor. <laughs> Almost too much, right? Yeah, really salty, sour, pickle flavor. But I actually like these because usually all the pork rinds we've got, they don't have much flavor on them. Yeah, these are like these. The flavor is there. Yeah, and I love good. the airy pork rinds. Actually, it is good. It's just like, like when you try sour cream and onion for the first time, it hits you. Mm -hmm. And these are spicy. Yeah. Oh yeah. These are really good. One ten. These are a ten. Do a nine and a half. Like I haven't been reaching for pork rinds so much anymore because you know all the flavors are kind of the same and they kind of get boring. I would but get these. But these, these are really good. Yeah, I'd definitely buy these. Mm. I had to buy these for the apartment. Mm. Yeah, Dion's leaving us. Just so y'all know, he's moving out. <laughs> so hopefully he comes by. And does keto crate with me again, but probably not. I probably won't see him till like next year. He tends to hide. Yeah. <laughs> but these are really good guys. 10 out of 10. Spicy dill flavor is on point. Okay, next snack we're going into. I think we tried a flavor of these the last time. Were they the same ones? Mm -mm, not these ones. Okay, these are by Keto Farms. It's their high fat, low carb, real good snacks, maple candied pecans. That sounds They're good. They're one net carb. 160 calories and there's only one serving so the whole bag is one net carb and I think we tried this brand the last time But it was a different flavor. I remember liking them, but I don't remember liking the texture of them So hopefully they're a little bit different this time. This is the way the bag looks We are about to dig in Maple candy pecans. This reminds me of like the Renaissance mm -hmm. You know how they sell like those pecans that are all Oh, Are you talking about the so coconut good. ones we had last time? No, the pecans that they toast, like kind of like in Bucky's too, you oh, know, they have those toasted yeah, yeah. pecans. So that's what this is? They're all hot and good. Okay, this is the way they look. They smell like cinnamon and vanilla. Mmm. Very good. It's nice and crunchy. Mmm. Oh yeah, these are good. Mmm. Really good maple flavor. You get a hint of cinnamon, vanilla. The pecan itself is nice and crunchy, and it tastes pretty fresh. Like, mm -hmm. they're really good. Mmm. Nice and sweet. Mmm. These are great around the holidays. I give these a 10 out of 10. I like yeah, them. Yeah, these are like a 10. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. Can I have some more? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but these are really good, guys. Look, have y'all ever tried these before? Comment below if y'all tried them, because I know... This the last time there was these in the other keto crate, but a different flavor. Let me know if y'all like them because I like them. What time was it? What time was it last time? I don't remember. I know it was something sweet too, though. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I could sit these and eat. I could sit here and eat these all day. Really good. Can you make keto pecan pie with like those on top? Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> that's kind of like what it tastes like, right? Pecan pie. Like a pecan that's what pie. That's me of. Yeah, but it's just coated in it. It's really good. Mm. Okay, we have a couple more chocolates that I see. This one we got the last time, and they were so good. I don't remember this. Yes, they were so good. You know what? Maybe I did it with Nancy. I think mm. I did it with my friend Nancy, the Keto Crate, and we got these like last year. Let me show them. Mm. <laughs> these are Keto oh. Wise Chocolate Pecan Clusters. And I remember these being so good, and they're fat bombs. What's that? Uh, yeah, shout out to Nancy. We haven't seen her in a while. She's been so busy. I was messaging her. But they're fat bombs. So basically, they have a lot of fat in them. Oh, man. They're good, right? I they're know. really good. They have 11 grams of fat, 130 calories, less than one gram of sugar, and one net carb probably per piece. So two net carbs per packet. This is the way they look. They got caramel inside. They have the nice crunchiness on them. The chocolate is so good. Mmm. The chocolate is really good. And they're really chewy. Mmm. The inside caramel chocolate layer. These are like a ten and a half. These are good. Mm-hmm. 
That don't even but taste like. Cute. It definitely sticks to your teeth, like the caramel. So it takes a little bit to chew. But I'm saving this. What? What? Okay. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so good. That is really good. But I highly recommend these guys. If y'all get them in your box, first thing you go for, first shot, because they are so that good. That is 100% I'm buying. <laughs> 100% because I always sneak in here and steal her pecan delight ones. Yeah, those pecan delights. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess they're kind of like that too, right? Yeah, but I don't like how you put them in the freezer. I like it when it's like this one. I like cold. my chocolate frozen. I they're like good. Frozen. Yeah. yeah. I think the pecan delights are better. Yeah. Yeah. These are good. I don't know. I think these are better. I like that. Look, we got candy. another. Last month we got Chalk Zero's the coconut balls. Mm. The coconut chocolate balls. Remember? No, but that has sea salt again. <laughs> Okay. Hazelnut, though. It's hazelnut. So this is a popular brand. I'm sure you've heard of it before. These are by Chalk Zero. This is their Keto Bark Dark Chocolate with Sea Salt and Hazelnut. So that sounds really good. Last month, we got the little packages of the coconut balls, and they had, like, chocolate on them, remember? And the, I don't the think I did that one Yes, you. you did. I don't remember. He don't remember nothing. I don't. <laughs> I have them in the pantry. Okay, so these are the six, it has six mini packs in here. This is the way their packaging looks. Looks pretty. I always like their packaging. And I like that their um, chocolate, they come individually wrapped instead of like a whole bar and you have to eat it at the moment. These are all individuals, so you could save them for next time. These are not mini. <laughs> these are a pretty good size. You want to split one yeah, or you want we'll one? split this one. Okay. This is the way their little packaging looks. Let's look at the, um, I'm not the biggest fan of hazelnut, but I'll try it. 120 calories. It has two net carbs, right? That's what it said? I think it's two net carbs. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Okay, so this is the way they look. Dion broke it, but it has little crunchies in the back. It's a nice, this is a good size bar for it being mini. It's actually pretty good. Salty. Ooh. You de it definitely hits you at the end, right? It's milky. I was expecting it to be really bitter because it's dark chocolate, but it's not that bad. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I think the hazelnut makes up for it. That's why. Yeah. That is good. Just a yeah. little salty. I don't care for salty. Yeah, definitely salty. But their chocolate has nice flavor. Mm -hmm. You get the nice crunch from the... Hazelnuts, right? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they're pretty good. I give it about an 8 out of 10. Definitely some good chocolate to keep on hand mm -hmm. if you love um, chocolate bark. Chocolate dark, dark chocolate bark. <laughs> but really good overall. I really like the hazelnut flavor in it. Oh, we got my favorite brand. Okay, so this brand, remember? The milky bar, the little milky squares that you kept eating. You kept taking them from me? Yeah, I remember now. Okay, so Ross Chocolates, their chocolate, the bomb. The first bag that I got from them, it was like a lemon chocolate, different, but it was so good. And then last month, I got the regular chocolate, I believe. This one is dark chocolate thins with sea salt. So this is the way their packaging looks. I always love their packaging. I think it's nice and like sleek and just mm -hmm. really pretty. It has a nice color. I thought they were gonna be mint, honestly. Mm -hmm. But this is just dark chocolate with sea salt. And their chocolate is so milky. Uh, let's hope. No, it's good. Because the last two, I have not been disappointed. So I hope I'm not disappointed with this one. It's just a sea salt. Everything's sea salt today. I don't know. Grab one. Remember oh, the little remember squares? Yeah, yeah, the little squares. So in the package, they're little squares just like this. They're nice and thin, and they're so good. This one's dark chocolate, though. So it's not, I don't think it's going to be as milky. Definitely taste the sea salt. Mmm. Mm. A little too much sea salt. There's big yeah. sea salt too. Yeah, they're big chunks of sea salt. They're biting. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, you definitely get a crunch from sea salt. So like they have big sea salt pieces in there. It is. Mm mm. I don't like it. I don't like Man. salt with chocolate. I don't know why. I mean, I know there's people that like it. It is right? sweetened with stevia. Now, I don't personally like this flavor. I give it about a five because it does have, like, they put too much salt. Their chocolate is really good. 
it doesn't taste oh it tastes slightly bitter but not too bad still milky but the other flavors i still recommend this brand because all the other flavors in their chocolates are so good this one if you do love like, like the salt. salt you're definitely gonna like this one because it does have that salt in it so i give it about a five out of ten just because i do not like the big salts but overall it's still pretty good i absolutely love their chocolates okay we got one more thing in our keto crate and we're not going to be able to make this right now but usually sometimes you'll get like packages that you can bake i've gotten cornbread from this company that was really good this is by keto and co this is their fudge brownie keto baking mix so if you want to try some keto brownies this one is a great one to try i've tried their cornbread and they also sent like a keto granola mix remember that one mm -hmm. Oh, I would, yeah, 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 I would really always, good. yeah, it was their peanut butter one. And I used it's to put it in butter, my protein shake. Yeah, it was a peanut butter um, granola, and I always put it on my yogurt. It's so good. So I'm pretty sure that keto brownies would be awesome. But if y'all happen to make these or receive your keto crate box, definitely comment below if y'all make them and let me know what y'all think. This has 16 servings. Um, the serving size is one brownie. And it says it's 1.1 net carbs per serving. It also says diabetic friendly, no sugar added. It's a it's fudgy and rich brownies. That's what it says. And this is the way their packaging looks. Dion's over here eating the pork rice. <laughs> Which one was your favorite out of everything? There's no more of these. So <laughs> yeah, well, there's a little piece right here. So he liked the Keto Wise chocolate pecan clusters. Now, definitely these are my favorite because I love these. But I think these candied pecans were really good and these snickerdoodle mm -hmm. cookies. Now, out of the chocolates, I think the best chocolate, in my opinion, was that better than good um, keto chocolate food bar. These were really good. Oh, and the pork rinds were delicious. But we had some really good options this month for a December keto crate. If y'all received y'all's, comment down below which item was your favorite out of the box. All right, guys, that was December's Keto Crate unboxing. We had some really awesome treats this month. And don't forget to use my code KETOWITHSAMI at checkout to receive your first box for only $29.99. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.